David Goldstein investigates earthquakes and the safety of local schools. Well, July's quakes near Ridgecrest happened during summer break, but what if they happen now while the children are in school? David's been investigating. David, what have you found? You know, there's two sets of rules we found for different schools. Even though a state law has been in effect for 85 years, mandating strict earthquake guidelines for public school buildings, we found some schools just don't have to comply, and experts say they may not be as safe. It's a drill that's practiced every year in schools across Southern California. Kids preparing for an earthquake. But we found because of a loophole in a state law, not all schools may be as safe as they could be. I wouldn't put my kid there. I wouldn't put my grandkids there uh, because I think a big one will come. A big one did occur in 1933, the Long Beach earthquake. 230 schools collapsed in the 6.3 magnitude quake. The disaster prompted new legislation for K through 12 school construction called the Field Act. It mandated rigorous oversight of construction of every public school to ensure they're safe. They're the safest buildings in the world. Tom Duffy is with the Coalition for Adequate School Housing. You can't be in a safer building than in a school building in California. But we discovered not all school buildings are created equal. Charter schools, like 18 local campuses of Alliance schools, don't have to comply with the Field Act, even though those campuses took in $6.4 million in taxpayer money this fiscal year from a state fund that pays charters for rent and renovations. Are students safer in buildings under the Field Act? Students are absolutely safer in a field act building when an earthquake happens. No question about it. Dr. Lucy Jones was on the California Seismic Safety Commission when it recommended twice that no public school should be exempt from the Field Act. But there are hundreds. We built this interactive map with more than 200 charter campuses in Southern California that don't have to comply with the Field Act. These charters receive state money from the funds specifically for rent and renovations. Do you think that students are safer in public schools than charter schools? Yes, because they're all field act safe. LAUSD School Board Vice President Jackie Goldberg, who is no fan of charter schools, said the legislature dropped the ball by not mandating the same safety standards. Do you know why charter schools don't have to comply with Well, that? basically, charter schools went to the, the, the state capital and said, we're going to be your labs. Just don't give us any rules. But the charters maintain they are safe. The California Charter Schools Association gave us a statement which says in part, charter public schools must comply with the California Building Code, which contains many strict earthquake safety provisions. And Alliance issued a statement saying their buildings must have an e-occupancy certificate from the local building department and be inspected by the local fire marshal. The e-occupancy, they say, is one of the strictest building standards. But school safety advocates are urging state lawmakers to go further when it comes to charter schools. Children are forced to go to public schools. You don't have a choice about it. And when the government says you have to be in this building, it's our responsibility to make sure that you're safe. Now, if you want to look up your child's school, you can go to our website at cbsla.com. We have an interactive map where you can search for the hundreds of schools that we found just don't have to comply with the strict earthquake standards. Back to you guys. It's an eye-opener. Thank yeah. you so much, David.